Guys ready to come out? Do you guys have masks? The path to Mars is beset with challenges. And the crew and their families uh, have committed a year of their lives in service to NASA, to the country, and to humanity's exploration of space. And so thank you. Congratulations and thank you. Uh, I'm very grateful to have had this incredible opportunity to live for a year within the spirit of planetary adventure towards an exciting future. And I'm grateful for the chance to live the idea that we must utilize resources no faster than they can be replenished and produce waste no faster than they can be processed back into resources. We cannot live, dream, create, or explore on any significant time frame if we don't live these principles. But if we do, we can achieve and sustain amazing and inspiring things like exploring other worlds. I am astonished that I got to live at Mars Dune Alpha and that I got to contribute to the one thing that is dearest to my heart, bringing life to Mars. No words can express how grateful I am to all who played a part in me being here. We're used to designing spacecraft, and so this is not our typical sort of day job. So it's been a really interesting and educational opportunity for us to collaborate with the Health and Human Performance team to create this analog. The analogs really are so important to our understanding of what it's going to take, our insight in, into how our assumptions and how our architectures are really going to work when the plans meet reality. So the day-to-day -day constraints of how the crews have to operate, analogs like this are so important in ways that we can't even imagine when we plan. So executed here on Earth in a way that's more accessible, 
um, cost effective and lower risk for the crews. It gives us an opportunity to learn all these critical things about these complex systems that it's going to make going to Mars and back a lot safer.